Hey there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another of our tested series. Today, I have got a sweet 3D pen from Sun Lu. It comes in at under $30, and I like to use these in my class where we do 3D printing with big MakerBot machines that cost thousands of dollars. It's really fun to see what you can also do with something that costs less than 30 bucks. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends, let's start by seeing what we get in the box. First things first, there is a little guide and it shows all the possible pens, shows what kind of materials they are working with and which pen does which. Let's see which pen we've got. So we have got two little pouches. The first pouch has our handy dandy 3D pen and a couple of cool little things to help protect your fingers, which is a great idea. The second one has some sample filament, and it has our USB cable. It does not come with a power adapter. Note it needs a 2 amp power adapter. It just so happens I've got a 2 amp power adapter from an old tablet. So let's power it up and see what we get. Plugging in is just like it would be if you were plugging in a cell phone. Once you get it in, make sure you switch to the mode you need. I'm going to be using PLA, so I'm in PLA mode. And now it's heating up. It takes about 50 seconds to heat up. And when it's heated, it'll turn green. Remember, this button is only used to switch from PLA to PCL. This button is your operating button. While that's heating, I'm going to just set it down and let's check the instructions in the user manual. Loading filament, when it turns to green, it means it is ready and you can select one of the two ways to feed in the filament, whichever you prefer. So you can A, click the operating key, or double click the operating key and press it constantly. When the motor starts to work, feed your filament in. Once the filament was extruded, you can start drawing. For self-protection, the pen will be paused automatically if no operation within eight minutes. You could click the operating key to continue drawing if you want to. And we'll work on unloading filament when we get there. Okay, friends, green is for go. I'm going to start the filament loading, and I'm going to use some leftover PLA. I like this translucent. Uh, the color is pretty cool, and for what I'm going to do today, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. It is almost July 4th here in the United States, and I figure the colors red, white, and blue are going to be cool. There's the old filament I had, and let's see if we can make a letter U. You can see that I am working on a sheet of glass. I like doing this on glass because later when it cools, it is real easy to take off. And while I'm putting it on, it works pretty cool as well. I'm going to make this into a bit of a keychain by putting a loop on the end of it. It is quite easy to hold in the hand. And right now I am going to click to make it stop. It's nice that that is right on your thumb. I'm going to just pull that away, and now I'm going to hold it so that it starts reversing the filament. So it is that easy to get your filament out. And then since it is almost the 4th of July, I'm going to switch to white and make something that's red, white, and blue. All right. That is removed, so now I'm going to just click again. And now let's click to start inserting the white. When it finally comes out, I will just put a little pile over here. There comes the red. Now let's make an S. If you've never used a 3D pen before, it is not easy to be perfect, but the more you play with it, 
the better you get. All right, so I'm gonna tap to finish my S and hold it to unload. And get my blue filament ready for finishing. Notice if you've ever got a little end, uh, make sure you clip that off. My filament did not quite come all the way out, so I'm going to just give it that little tug to finish it. There we go. Like I said, I need to clip the end of this because you don't ever want to put it in buggered up. Now let's switch into load mode. You can see that my U and S already came off the glass because it's so cool. But I think it is still going to look pretty sweet. And I'm going to make my hook a little better over here as I finish this up. There comes some old white from what I did a minute ago. Pinch that off. Let's see if we can make a nice nifty A. It's doing a bit of a reheat. Notice it went red instead of green. I'm going to tap it again so it's back heating up so we can continue. There's my green. We're back in business. I'm going to come over here and start again and make this little circle a little bit bigger. So it kind of looks like a keychain. Push that down with my finger. And as it cools, you can see I've got a pretty nifty little USA keychain that was made in no time using this awesome little pen. I'm going to hold it down to unload it. And then I'm just going to make sure I'm tugging on it so that the filament does come out that last little bit. There we go. Shut it off and I can unplug it and store it away. Alrighty friends, so you can see it is a nifty little pen. It's convenient, it fits in your hand well. It does have the ability to use PLA and PCL. Uh, worked real good on the scraps that I had, which is really cool. Make sure my friends that you turn it on to the correct mode. Uh, if you're putting PLA in, you wanna be in PLA mode. If you have any trouble with it, uh, make sure you check to see that you got a two amp power supply so that it's got the power to push through. As you can see, friends, it's not that hard to make something pretty darn neat and nifty, and it's kind of fun, and you've got that instant moment of, hey, I just created that. Friends, if you found the video useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell. It's going to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.